Good morning, everyone. Um, it's two days after Christmas. <laughs> I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, we in South Africa have a, a public holiday today because yesterday was a day we call Boxing Day, um, which is traditionally a um, public holiday. Or in, in England, they'd call it a bank holiday um, where the banks are closed, so everybody goes on holiday. Um, but that that fell on a Saturday, a Sunday. Um, and so today we get a day off. It's Monday. Um, and 1 Chronicles 16 verse 9, 29, 16 verse 29 says, Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him and worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. So today, as I said, sorry, I've got my little dog and she's standing on her haunches and she needs a, me to pick her up. And she's not going to stop until I do pick her up. So her name's Melody. So let me see if, I, if I'm not too distracted by her. So today, as I said, is a day traditionally that we would have off. And it's called Boxing Day. And um, it's a day that you give the um, least fortunate leftovers of food. And it's, it was actually a day of celebration um, for many very poor people in times when this started. Um, and it was a day of providence for those who are older, uh, who were wealthier and better off and had more and had enough. She's used to me kissing her and rubbing her when I pick her up. So she's not quite sure why I'm still talking to my phone. <laughs> and, and what is wonderful to note is that after the birth of Christ, um, after we celebrate the birth of Christ, the birth of our um, Saviour, we celebrate um, just being in, in, um, in overflow in more than enough and in our more than enough we can bless those that are with us and next to us some people have a bittersweet taste about this whole thing and they say they didn't always get new things and that and and i think to me that's all a bit academic because it was a day of providence it was a day of giving and um more than just receiving it's about giving and being blessed by the giving that you you do and undertake and so I want you to look at what you've done. Um, our Christmas was not, not poor at all. We had enough of everything in that, but we didn't have, we often try and buy our children quite a significant present or, or something they need for the next year. And that, and we, we, we did some of that, but we couldn't do it like we would normally have done it or have done it in the past. And what is what was wonderful to see is our girls were going, well, life has happened in these last few years life is has been a bit difficult or a bit uneasy or a bit tenuous or a bit um unsure um and so from all these things for us to get what we got and be together as a family and everybody is there we were a family unit of five originally and now we've got a few extras young men um and now, and we still complete a crazy pandemic that has swept through the world has touched us, but not affected us in a way, our family, in a way that is full of sorrow. Yes, I, I lost some very, very good friends. Um, and there's a very good friend, uh, a, a few very good friends that are still struggling with latent problems but as a whole as a family unit that which God gave me to the closest part of my heart I haven't lost and I'm very grateful and that is our God he gives us not only out of his abundance because his abundance is mind-blowingly abundant but his abundance is us we are he gives us freely to the world so that we can love and give and then he fills us with what we need to give out of our abundance of God. So who can you give abundantly to today and what can you give them? And if you say that every day for the next 360 whatever days we've still got this year, in 2022 I mean, <laughs> what can you give every day? 
that is unprecedented and abundant in God's blessing. Have a wonderful day and we'll speak again tomorrow.